Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to work with repetitive content in Word. So uh, I am a PR consultant and a lot of my day job involves drafting press releases, briefing documents or PR articles like this one. Uh, and you can see here that uh, in this article, I need to type the word Scott Seran a lot. And it is not only a very long word, but it's actually quite tricky because I will need to type Scott Seran and then there's this register trademark at the end so I would need to open bracket ah, and then close bracket ah, so much time just typing a broad name now of course there are workaround solutions so I could uh, copy and then paste it every time I need to use it but still, it could disrupt my thought process when I'm writing. So uh, a better solution is to let Word help you by automating this uh, typing for you. Uh, we do that by uh, first selecting the text that you want to automate. Scott Seran, okay. And then go to File, Option, Proofing, and Autocorrect Options. And in here, in the replace box, I will type a hint for what to follow. So I will put SC for Scott Seren. Basically, what I'm telling Word is that whenever you see me typing SC, please, please replace it with Scott Seren with a register mark at the end. And so add. OK. OK. And let's try it. So now, instead of typing the whole Scott Seran with a cubersum register trademark at the end, I will just type SC, followed by um, Enter, or you can also hit the spacebar button. And that's it. Very quick and error-free. Okay, so our first problem is solved. Now, but this is a very... Uh, this is just a broad name. What if you are working with a large amount of text that you want to reuse? For example, at the end of every article, I would need to insert a company boilerplate uh, like this part about Scott. So let's say that I am drafting a, another article on it. I'm just going to put some dummy text here to illustrate. Okay, so I'm finished with this article. And now I will need to insert the boilerplate in. Um, this is not very difficult, but it takes time because you will need to go to the old doc document, uh, copy, and then paste it to the new document. And every time you want to use this uh, part about Scott, you would need to manually copy and paste and open the old document and copy and paste it to the new document. So um, a better solution is just to do it once. Okay, so go to the original document, select it, and then go to Insert, Quick Parts, and then say Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Click OK. So now let's go to our new document, Insert, Quick Parts, and it is already there. So whenever you need to use this company boilerplate, you just need to go to insert quick parts and it will be there. Okay, so finally, sometimes we want to rearrange the content in our document after we finish drafting that document. So let's go back to the original article. And let's just say that uh, in this article, I want to move the environment, environmentally friendly part before the perfectly safe for everyday use part. Of course, we can um, manually cut and paste. But let me show you a better alternative. Go to view uh, and check the navigation pane box. And you can see here that Word has already provided a quick summary of your document. So in this case, I want this uh, perfectly safe for everyday use part to go before the strong energy efficient part. So I'm just going to drag and drop. And it works. 
uh, let's just say that I want this uh, from outer space part to move all the way to the end. This is uh, also very simple. I will just select it and then drag it and then drop it. And it will work no matter how short or how long that uh, part is. As long as you use heading and style, it will work just fine. And if you don't know how to use heading and style yet, don't worry, we will cover it in the next video. So why don't you try it out and save a lot of time. Happy writing!